What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I have a practice round on my laptop. So as you know, I'm a tour professional and I play quite a few different golf courses throughout the year. So for me, this part of the process is quite important. I have a lot of people ask me how many rounds does it take you to really understand a golf course. So for me, I think it's about six or seven times. So this here is essentially a practice round. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how I do it. I actually learned this process off a system called Decade. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, it's birdify.com. Scott Fawcett is the lad that has invented it. And a lot of PGA Tour professionals and European Tour players use it. And also a lot of college golfers use it. So I don't know if you've realized that. Nowadays, guys that are coming straight from college onto the big tour, they look at home because they have a great game strategy and knowledge. So if you haven't done so already, I highly recommend you go check out decade.com. For me, I've used it for two years and the name, Decade. I do really wish I found out about the system decades ago. So there we have it. But anyway, I'll show you on my laptop what I do. And like I say, it's essentially a practice round. So if I haven't been to the course before, very important. Even if I have played the course a hundred times, I'll still get on and I'll do it. And I'll write some notes down. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search the golf course I wanna play. So for this example here, I'm gonna use Rossley Golf Club. It's my home course in Christchurch, New Zealand. And what you wanna do is you wanna get onto their website and you're trying to search for some information about the golf course. So in this case, this website's quite good. It's got a course tour. It's got stroke saver down here. Also got a little bit of information about each hole underneath. It's normally a pro tip, so you can read about it. And this is quite good. It's actually got some pictures, so this really helps for visualization. And it's also got videos of flyovers of each hole. So this website here is actually quite fantastic. The only thing I couldn't find was a scorecard. And so I just Googled Rossi Golf Club scorecard. Because on the back of a scorecard, it normally has the map of the hole. So this is exactly what I wanted here. Uh, as I'm already a member, I already know that this is the 18th green and this is the 9th green. Normally they are beside the clubhouse, so if you can't find this, you can normally work it out. Next step of the process, I will go onto Google Maps and I will search the golf course that I want to go to. So Rusty Golf Club, so we preset. And on the bottom left, there's Satellite, so click on Satellite. And this is actually the golf course right here, so you can move it around till it fits into your screen. So clubhouse down here, 18th green, 9th, uh, 18th green, 9th green. First tee is over here. First tee is over here. And yeah, so you can zoom in and zoom out. You can actually, uh, when you zoom in. And actually click on 3d so if you're if you're unsure if the course does have much elevation then you can use this and it will give you a little bit of visualization uh, but as you know Christchurch it's a pretty flat city so pretty flat golf course so what I'm going to do my next step of the process is I'm going to go on to show you example on hole number 12 it's a par 5 it is always driver bombs away, but some people potentially don't aim in the correct spot. So I'm going to click on the back of the T block. So I know this is the back of the T block. I'm going to right click on the bottom option. It's measure distance. So now I'm measuring a distance from the back of the block. I'm going to go up the hole. I'm going to check out how far away that bunker is. So if you really want to, you can write some notes down. So the bunker is 267 meters away. So I hit driver about 280 meters total. So I'll find 280 meters on this side of the fairway, and then I'll go over to the other side and find it. So it's about here. 
So I'll let it go there and then I'll go back across to this side of the fairway. So 280 metres to the other side of the fairway is now, it's now 60 metres wide. So this is actually perfect for a driver. I do know that if you hit it in this bunker, it's, it's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. So I still will hit driver. Go back to the edge of the tee block. So I've made myself a triangle. So this here is replicating my shot pattern. So by shot pattern and dispersion, I mean if you were to stand there on a driving range with a track man or a flight scope or some device to measure how far you're hitting your golf ball and if it's going left or right, um, you want to hit, say, 20, 25 balls and you're going to measure the ball that's the furthest left to the furthest right. So I sort of allow myself 50 meters between, uh, between sides. So if this was out of bounds on the right and trees on the left, then I just move my triangle across to the right. But in this case, I do know that these trees here, they don't really punish you. You can, you can chip out and also this bunker here. So it is actually pretty wide, but for me, in this case, I'm just trying to find the center of the fairway where I'm meant to be aiming. So I said this was 60 meters from this, from the left side to the right side. So I'm going to find the center. So that's 30 meters in the middle there. So I do know now when I stand on the back of the T block, if I can see the right side of the fairway, this is pretty much the center of my target line. So remember once again, if, if I'm going to hit, say, 50 balls, this is my shot dispersion. So yes, I'm going to get some to end up on the right, and yes, I'm going to get some to end up on the left, but the majority of them are going to be absolutely perfect in the middle of the fairway, and I'm going to be going at this par 5 and 2. So now that I've done that, I'll use my phone and I'll take a shot, a vid, uh, like a, a photo of this, so I can take it to the course when I do go, and I can just look on my phone, or if I'm really keen, I can actually make myself a stroke saver, or in the stroke saver, I'll write down that at 280 meters, it is 60 meters wide, and my line is the right side of the fairway, that center line. So I do know when I stand up there with confidence, even if I haven't played the golf course before, I can aim at the center line and hit my shot. Now, if I hadn't played this golf course before and I got there and these trees were lost ball, then I'm obviously going to have to, to move my shot pattern across a bit or I'm going to have to go further back because this seems to be a little bit wider back here so this process will also work if you hit it 200 meters or 230 meters you can still work it out but you do need to know your shot dispersion so that's that hole done and now we'll go on to this little dinky par 4 on the back 9 it's actually hole number 14 so this hole here it's I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see it better. So this hole here, this back of the tee block here, it's a dog leg right over some big high uh, pine trees. Um, for me, this hole is actually really hard to lay up on because it's actually really skinny for me. So the further I hit it, the wider it gets. So there is a a water hazard here that you just have to cover so if I go to the back of the block once again right click measure distance I can actually see that okay the water I've got to hit it 252 meters to cover the water so like I said my driver goes it goes about 280 so I think I I do have 250 260 cover so I've got the cover of that so I'll measure out to 280. I'll find the furthest right part. I do know that this path here is actually out of bounds. It's into the green keepers. So 280. I'll find 280 on this side, which is about there. 
and I'll do my measurement. So I'll go back to the right side of the fairway, let it go, 280, and then I'll go back across here. 280 to 350 is 70 meters wide. So I'll go back to the T block, make my triangle, find the center. So it's from right side to left side is 70 meters. That's it's pretty wide because my my shot dispersion I allow for 50 meters. So I'm going to find center, make a triangle, and I'm going to take a photo of this. So when I do get to the golf course. I know exactly where I'm meant to be aiming. If I can see through those trees and I can see uh, the left side, left side of the green, that's pretty much where I want it to finish. Um, obviously, if I get ones to go over to the right, then over to the left, they're going to be okay as long as I hit it inside my shot dispersion. So, yeah, that's that's what I do on that hole. I always hit driver. And most of the time, I do know this because I'm a local, that most of the, seven times out of ten, this hole is downwind, so I'm really hitting driver up onto the green. Some days I can even hit three wood up onto the green, it's just a matter of how far the downwind it is. Um, obviously, in the future when these trees grow a little bit more, then yes, my game strategy, strategy is going to have to change on this hole a little bit, but at the moment... I'm making the most of the smaller trees and trying to, you know, shoot the lower scores I possibly can. So, um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I do. So, I'll go on to every hole and I'll, I'll try and work from what I think is the first hole to the eighteenth hole, and uh, this way I'll get the photos on my phone in order. So when I do get to the golf course. I can uh, transfer it onto my yardage book. Um, and if we don't have yardage books, then I'll definitely write some notes down. So when I do stand on that first tee, and it's the first time I'm there, I do know where to aim. And then if it's a practice round, then obviously I can learn if left side is bad or right side is bad, and then change my change my move my shot pattern across a little bit. And this way, I can be as as aggressive as possible. So yeah, that's just a quick way that I have a practice round on my computer. Uh, I know it's it was a little long and drawn out, but if you do really want to understand this process, you can either hit me up or you can get in touch with birdiefire.com uh, and they'll they'll show you through it. So. Like I say, this is a very important part of the process and I do honestly stand on golf courses that I've never played before, stand on the course and actually feel like I've had a practice round. So hopefully you can put this into your game. Uh, obviously game strategy and understanding your game will help you improve your scores, lower your handicaps. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. The more subscribers I can get, the more content I can punch out. So stay safe, guys. I know that we are on the golf course very, very shortly. And yeah, happy golfing.